Alrighty, today we're going to have a look at the Mini Metro level of St. Petersburg and the achievement that comes along with that called Never the Great, uh, where you need to deliver 1,500 passengers uh, having tunnels on only one line. Now, hopefully, um, obviously the maps always come out a little bit different, um, so part of it does come down to luck, uh, but hopefully I can give you a few tips that may make it a bit easier for you uh, trying to get this achievement as well. Um, you only get five trains lines on this line, which is a bit fewer than others, but it's not too bad uh, for this particular level. Um, we'll have our red just on this center island. Uh, we'll make our blue the one that we have all the tunnels on, and then we'll just have a second um, line on this main island as well, and then probably end up having two on the east side of this river. Now all the stations that appear on these little islands are also all of your unique stations. Um, which means that our blue line, as well as being the tunnel line, will also have all those unique stations attached to it. Um, now, one thing I like to do here is, instead of uh, just having the blue just coming in and touching um, the main island, I think it is important that it is cleaning out all of its um, passengers, so it's worth having it connecting to a triangle, a square, and a circle just so that it's not dumping all the normal guys there while everyone else is dumping all the uniques there and causing this station a lot of headaches uh, pretty quickly. Um, another thing that I like to do generally when I build, um, this can possibly go down to preference, but I'll explain my reasoning. I um, think I'd rather have straight line station, uh, train lines, sorry, as rather than looping stations. Uh, the reason being, you can probably use this red line as a good example here. If I was to loop this around, um, you can see that now gives me three circles in a row. Um, and so with the trains going this way, by the time they get to this station, they may be full on whatever they're picking up from these two, and that'll cause them um, to sort of ignore this guy and then cause you problems. Um, generally, when uh, you can sort of set it up so that you've got trains going both ways in a loop, but um, I find that that causes you new issues. So, for example, if this station's about to bust because it's full and you think, all right, cool, I've got a train coming this way that's going to clean it out, sometimes it'll actually ignore, say, a triangle on here because a triangle's the next station this way. So the, tr the train assumes that it's going to, um, that the guy coming the other way will take that triangle faster and get rid of him. And so it'll actually ignore um, passengers. So I like to not have the loops as well, just so that I know that every uh, passenger will get picked up by any train that goes through it in the right direction. I might just rebuild this a little bit because we're wasting two um, tunnels doing it that way. That's better. Generally when uh, we get to our Sundays and you get a choice of a line uh, or the tunnel or um, the carriage, I generally think that if you've already got a line down here that you haven't yet used, there's no point in grabbing another line because there shouldn't really any be, be any situation where you need to put down two lines in the same week. Um, you should, you're like That's a pretty drastic measure that you're moving there. Um, Tunnels are probably now need, if you run out of tunnels and you can see that you probably will need to make another crossing. So for example, if they put a station here, Blue's going to have to cut across here. So uh, I definitely need another tunnel. Um, and then carriages are absolutely going to save the day in some situations. So yeah, if, uh, if you don't need tunnels and you, um, you have a line sitting there that's not being yet used, then yeah, definitely going to be carriages. And you can see now we definitely need to... Hope they give us tunnels on this next one. And they don't. Okay. So we will take another carriage. We'll give it to this guy. 
Now, what this means is we're going to have to get creative to clear out this guy. There's got to be a better way we can set these guys up. Let's, um, let's come back to that. Now we can just keep an eye on him for now and see that he's only got the one passenger, so there's no urgency to, to get to him just yet. We also have a station in the back, uh, sorry, a train in the um, in the pocket that we can use to shift guys off him quickly if need be. Okay, so what we might do is just because this guy's currently empty, we'll just pull the station off him and we'll put the train down to the triangle. Probably getting close where we can divide this into two lines. And because that other guy at the top is getting a bit full, we'll um, just use our third locomotive to clean this guy out. Then we'll remove that and reconnect that guy. Okay, so we might um, build green, just doing this layout there, and then we'll just get red off of all those guys. He doesn't need that. And we'll make red go to that guy. Now this is also a, um, <laughs> and still going to be without that tunnel. Alright, we'll take a line now because we've used our third. Um, this is also another way I recommend, because obviously everything is going to have to go through the blue line uh, if they want any of the uniques, it means that green's going to be dumping a lot of stuff on blue and red's going to be dumping a lot of stuff on blue. So the best um, way to cater for that is to have them reaching two separate points um, on the blue line so that they're not both stacking everything in the one place and causing that particular station to um, overflow. So if they're doing two different ones, it should split that uh, workload. Okay, we might need to move someone else on to, uh, we'll give, do we not have anyone on green at the moment? Whoops. Alright, let's get this guy on there and we'll take a carriage and give that to him too. It's done pretty well so far without anyone on there at all. Oh, we even have the extra train sitting there that we might just use to clean that up a bit. Uh, feel free to move your trains around as well, obviously. Once you put it on a line, it doesn't mean they still live there. Uh, just move them around based on uh, where you have the most need. There's those tunnels we need. Okay, and because we're going to permanently have blue being longer, we'll give them that extra train. Now 
Now hopefully we do get a square over on this side, because if you've got it so that all your lines touch a square, there, triangle and circle, uh, then a lot of your work's going to be a lot easier. Um, the other thing that makes this track um, a lot easier to work with is that because all of the uniques are on the blue line, it means everyone is going to touch the blue line, and so everyone is just immediately dumping those to blue. Where you really get in bad situations is if, say, you had the yellow line just down the bottom here, and so for it to get to blue it would have to drop off to red or green and then they would have to drop off to blue. You're just creating essentially a middleman that is going to get a lot more work than what he needs and uh, cause you grief. Alright, once uh, we'll put our yellow train down here, probably when we get our next locomotive on Sunday, um, I would prefer to have a circle or something down here first because he's only dealing in triangles, all he's really going to do is move stuff from this block and put it there and uh, just cause Blue to have to carry that workload anyway. So at the moment, until he gets something else there, there's no real uh, need. Okay, good. So we've got this circle here, which actually means that what we can do is connect all of these with one line and remove that workload for blue. Okay, we'll just uh, grab this guy. So you can see that blue's still got all of these, he's still got triangle, the circle and the square, probably doesn't even need this circle anymore, but um, he isn't, he isn't necessarily an overly long line. Um, I don't think I need another line soon yet. It'll only be if there's a flourish of uh, more stations up here. And I'd say the carriage will definitely help out our green friend down the bottom. And we'll just give him the extra train as well for now. Good, and there's that square that the yellow needed. Now what could cause us issues out here with the yellow is that we do have three circles in a row already. So anything coming up here that could be more circles could really cause us some grief. Just like that. It really could be what our uh, final line gets used for. So we could say have yellow just connect from one triangle to the square to a circle to a circle and then have the other line come through and connect the other circles into the other triangle. Now really our blue line shouldn't have to expand at all anymore, it'd only be if we get, say, um, another station or two in these areas here, uh, but he is pretty much done. So it's just the work of everyone else that um, will move on, and obviously as long as we just remember not to make any more tunnels uh, than what we've got on blue, then uh, yeah, we should be smooth sailing all the way to 1500. Okay, green is getting a lot longer than what its red partner is there, so we'll just give one of his stations to red. Okay, so we'll take our final line. Uh, we will give this to red just to clean up a little bit.
we might need to find a train that we can give to yellow. We'll just take this guy off and uh, put him on here. But I mean, you can see with the four in a row, this station's just getting completely skipped, even by a 12-seater. Now this, the problem that this station here is having is that this guy is getting full on the station before him. Uh, but like I said, there's not really too much we can do about that, otherwise you'd have them both going into the same one, and that would cause you as much grief. Uh, we might see if we can pull this guy off and just jump him ahead to be collecting from that station, just to smooth it out a little bit. Uh, and we might also look at bringing in this other station up here, so what we'll do is take that and that and that off this line, and then just build a line that looks like that to complement him, and we will just have to pull a train, we'll take this guy, and send him that way. Now when you pull a, a train up, he doesn't immediately move, he does go to the next station and drop off his um, cargo, so what that means is if you've got a train that's just full of squares and he's heading towards a square, if you pull him off he'll still deliver all those squares uh, to his next station. Uh, but if it is, if he's carrying anything else, he'll just drop all of those passengers at that station. Uh, which in some cases it doesn't overly matter if you're dropping them at a station that doesn't have anyone there anyway. Okay, so we definitely want the carriages from here on out. And still got four in a row on that yellow line, so we'll give uh, that guy another carriage, and we will give blue another train. Actually, we might give this to red. Those circles just keep on coming. Okay, we're going to need to pull someone off and put him there. likely need to move someone onto purple soon as well. So at this point, basically, we're down to our final 300 that we need, and mainly what you've just got to make sure is that you are managing everyone who is starting to overflow. So just keeping an eye on this guy up here, and this guy down here. He should clean this one up pretty nicely. But this one will go back into um, counting down again soon. There it goes. So we definitely want to get someone else on that purple line now. Where do we have a lot of... I will take this yellow guy and we'll move him that way. So when I'm placing a train on a line, um, if you pick up the train and move him, um, he'll actually have a pointer so I'll just show you with the train, let's pull someone up. Um, so you can see he's got a point. Um, the closest station he's to is where he'll look, and so um, you just want to have them facing the direction that you want him to go. So arrow pointing that way means he'll collect those guys and go down, uh, which is what you want. Okay, more carriages. So we will remove yellow I guess it doesn't really have a choice, it doesn't matter. Um, and we will give the new train to Green, and we'll just give him that as well. So now we've only got 100 to go. Basically all we need to do is just uh, keep all the balls in the air until 
We've reached that 100. This guy's starting to look like a problem. Because that's probably a good example of having two lines just converging on the same one point. So we definitely want to keep an eye on him. This train should get to him before there's any real issue. And there we go, that's 1,500 passengers on St. Petersburg uh, with tunnels on only one line. Hope it helps. I uh, will keep going with this one, but uh, I don't need to save you the trouble of watching it, I assure you uh, it won't last much longer.